mention the fall season or the month of October, one of the first things that many people think of pumpkins. Today we're talking to a Michigan man with a talent that is unique and garners attention each year, especially right about now. He calls himself Lord of the Gourd for his fun and creative carving creations. Pat Harrison joins us now. Pat, welcome. Well, thank you for having me. Hi. Where are you based and how did you get the name Lord of the Gourd? Well, I just moved to Prudenville. I've been in Leewanaw County the last 16 years and Lord of the Gourd was just something that kind of came up. I believe it or not, I actually started out as the pumpkin bumpkin. And <laughs> one day I was doing a show and this old woman tugged on my elbow and she said, you know, that name's just not cool. <laughs> <laughs> so the pumpkin bumpkin died that day and the Lord of the Gourd was born. And understand you have a, a background in graphic design. Graphic design and cartooning. Um, and I think I get most of what I do from the cartooning end of it. Tell me about some of your creations. I mean, it's not just pumpkins that we're talking about here. No, this, believe it or not, this isn't just a seasonal thing. This is my actual job. So I do this about nine or 10 months of the year. So I'll be doing pumpkins and squash right now. And in November, I'll switch to squash and gourds. And like at Thanksgiving, I carve turkeys out of Hubbard squash. And at Christmas, I carve Santas. And then we cook them. So we eat Santa in my house. Wow. So and you, then, <laughs> you then, eat uh, Santa. In the, in the summer, I switch over to uh, watermelons. So you can carve watermelon just like a pumpkin. That's where my cartooning comes in because my whole philosophy is just make it up as you're going along. Don't try to make it look like something, especially if you haven't done this before. So if you say I'm gonna carve Frankenstein, it's probably not gonna look like Frankenstein and you're gonna get mad and not wanna do it again. So what I do is I look for unique shapes and then I kind of let the pumpkin tell me what to do. So every carving I do, I'm just doing a doodle. I just start with the eyes or nose and I completely make it up as I'm doing it. That way you're not pressuring yourself trying to make it be something, you just kind of let it happen. Now looking for the perfect thing to carve, um, there's one thing you have to be aware of that you gotta make sure that it's something you can cut into. Like I do a lot of Hubbard squash and those can be hard as a rock. Mm. So what I do is I take my thumbnail and I stick it in the skin. And if I can poke a hole in the skin, that's one I wanna carve because I know the knife's gonna go through it. If you can't do that, you could still carve it, but you're gonna be horsing that knife really hard. And that's when you slip and have accidents and they don't grow back, so. Oh boy, well, you, it seems like you've, you've been fortunate. How long have you been doing this now? I've been doing this 22 years now. Wow, okay. Do you have any workshops coming up or uh, anything where people can maybe check you out, see some of your work? Yeah, I've, um, I've got a list of shows. Uh, my nearest one is this Thursday. I'm carving in Cadillac at a place called the After 26 uh, Depot Cafe. And then I'm in Leland Library on Friday. And this weekend I'll be at Bart's uh, Farm Market in um, Prudenville each day, Saturday and Sunday. 19th, I'm at Surrey Township Public Library, uh, Ross Common Library on the 20th. Yeah, I'll be at the Otsego Library in Gaylord on the 26th. And of course, this has to be probably your busiest time of the year. Oh, yeah, I'm like Santa Claus on Christmas Eve right now, but <laughs> I love it. You know, um, I'm, on a, I'm on a month long color tour, all the places I go. Everyone's always happy and in a good mood. And I'm just really lucky that I found something I can do that people love so much and they make it so much fun for me. Oh, well, thanks so much, Pat, for taking the time to do this. Next time, we'll have to get you in studio carving a pumpkin or maybe out in the garage so we don't make a mess here. <laughs> Absolutely. I would love that. All right. Thank you. If you have any ideas that you would like to see on our show, you can send them to us at 4 p.m. news at WNEM.com. Just use the subject 4 p.m. news spotlight.